currently 6.30 in the morning right now. I don't want to be too loud, but yeah, it's always been my dream to go to LA. Um, Drea, my partner in Alex Cage, she's always been asking me to go because her and her dad always go and they've been going for like the past three or four years and I've never been able to because of like school or work but uh, yeah I'm finally doing it finally going this year and for those of you who don't know NAM is basically this giant convention of all the newest musical instruments and all that stuff so hopefully we'll see some famous people and yeah I am so excited Oh my gosh. I am finally here in LA standing on Californian ground and the weather is amazing. It's 16 degrees Celsius right now. I'm just in my sweater, no jacket. It's supposed to snow really, really hard in Toronto this weekend so I'm so excited to be here. And honestly, I don't travel alone very much so I'm kind of anxious. I don't know what I'm gonna do but the plan is to take a shuttle to downtown LA and then meet up with a couple of my friends and we're just gonna hang. So let's have a great day. So I'm gonna be using my phone. Oh, there's a chicken. Oh my gosh, there's a chicken. Hi. Anyway, I'm gonna be using my phone for the next little bit because it's getting a bit dark, or not really, but by the time I get to where I wanna get, it's gonna be dark. I don't wanna have my camera around. I don't wanna look like a tourist. I don't wanna get mugged. So yeah, but anyway, this is what's happening. So um, I was originally supposed to meet up with some friends. We were gonna spend, we were gonna spend the day together, but our schedules didn't work out so I'm currently on a trek to walk to Hollywood so it's about an hour and a half of a walk I don't know if I'm gonna make it but uh, we'll see it's around 4 right now by the time I get there hopefully it'll be like 5 30 we'll get some food and yeah so that's what's happening I am so excited to be here um, I wasn't feeling too comfortable earlier because it was just like a new place. I, I had my hotel. I just kind of like lied in bed for a bit. But now I'm out. It's so beautiful out here. There's going to be a snowstorm in Toronto this weekend. But here, it's going to be 23 degrees this weekend. So let's do it. Let's do it. I made it. I just realized I've been up for the past 19 hours. I woke up at around 4.30 to head to the airport. And then now it's about 8.30 over in Toronto. It's 5.30 here. So... I think that's about 19 hours, 20 hours, I don't know, I can't do math. But um, I'm really hungry, so I'm just getting anything that I want. I'm just eating, eating away my tiredness on my trek to Hollywood. I've been walking for about an hour and a bit now. Feels like longer, but I really could have just taken the bus. So yeah, that's my, that's my update. Oh look, the Capitol Records building. Oh, you can't see that from here, my phone's crap, but it's pretty cool, I'm still having a good time walking. And walking and walking and walking and walking and walking I didn't realize I made it I've been walking on the street for the last minute without noticing there's stars everywhere it's kind of pretty underwhelming honestly yeah I don't know what to say I would love to find Donald Trump's star and spit on it because I really don't like that guy and we are back to my good camera. Uh, yeah, LA, it was cool. Honestly, the best thing about it is the weather so far because it's like, I can just walk around in this sweater and it's amazing. But other than that, it's just a city, you know what? And I think it's really the people that make it because I'm sure I'll just meet a bunch of musicians tomorrow at NAMM and just like a ton more people in the rest of my life who live in LA and I'll probably be traveling back and forth to LA. And that's, that's the dream. All right, hopefully I'll be doing that. But uh, yeah, so now I've been actually up for 20 hours. It's currently, what is that, nine o'clock. So I'm going to just finish writing a song, finish a drop, and then I will see you guys tomorrow for Nam. Well, we are in Anaheim now. I got my boys, Julian, 
and Isaiah, what producers, drummers, heaviest people I know, but I'm so fucking excited to finally walk into this booth I've been dreaming of walking into since I was 16. So let's go, let's go. That's not even possible, because that's how big everything is, like, holy shit. Let's go, it's a party! There was a seminar called How to Prepare Your Music for Release, and I went to that. It turned out to be a one hour long CD Baby ad, so. That's my day. Yo, what is up? We're just gonna take a quick breather right now because I wanna tell you what happened next. That morning we were up at around 6.37 and then we got to Nam at around 8.30. So we just been walking for the whole day from like 8.30 until five o'clock and also talking to all these new people, meeting all these new faces, socializing, seeing all this new gear, taking in all this new information. And we were drained after that, we were so tired. But we chose to go to a basketball game after that too because tickets were so cheap. So we've been out for the night too. Now, this is the only productive thing that I did the next day at NAMM. I'm at NAMM and here's things that are cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That is too cool. Scary. That's excessive. That's fucking stupid. And that was my trip to Nam. Two days and I died. Yeah, we had two more days at Nam. It still went on for the Saturday and Sunday, but I had to tap out after that, man. I was so tired. Just all those people, like 20,000 people, all scrunched up in a convention center. It was a lot. I did end up staying in LA for a bit longer though. Went to Disneyland with my girlfriend. What else did we do? We just explored LA, looked at the sights. LA is a really, really nice place and it's much better than like, it's, it's minus 20 in Toronto today. Whereas it was like 15, 20 degrees in LA. So I'd love to move there someday, but going to Nam again, man, honestly, I would not go again unless I was paid. There were way too many people. Uh, I'm not as into gear as I thought I would be. And it's just like, I don't know. I had an experience, I'm very, I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't enjoy Nam as much as I thought I would because it's always been a dream. But you know what? That's what you do in life. You got to experience everything. And then sometimes you like something that you don't expect to like. And sometimes you end up not liking something that you thought you would like a lot. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for experiencing Nam with me. I really, really appreciate it. Feel free to join my mailing list down below. Uh, I've got some exclusive content for anyone who joins. I will love you forever if you do, also. We got a new single coming out in April. I'm just gonna drop that right now. I don't think anyone's gonna really watch this video until after it drops, but yeah, there's a new single coming out and you can hear it first if you join my mailing list. And what else? Feel free to subscribe. It helps me keep making videos. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, social media, all of that. And check out my last two videos. Thank you so much. I will catch you soon.